What's up, Internet? Current 1776 here to bring you another Battle Box Breakdown with Mission 55. This box right here is pretty freaking sweet. Had a few leaks in here. People seem to really enjoy it. So now I get to show you everything else that comes along with it. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right. So, as always with every mission, I got the mission card right here. We got our basic, advanced, pro, and pro plus levels. And on the back here, we got a write-up from yours truly. So please read it. I work hard on that stuff. And I kind of messed up this time on the, on the mission card. So in the advanced item, your card may or may not have the second item listed on there. If it doesn't, I'm sorry. Blame it on me. I screwed it up. But there is two items in advance, not one. So if your card says one, there should be an extra product in there for you. So without any further ado, I'm going to jump in to the basic box. Be sure I got everything right here. Be able to see this nice Spartan helmet right here in the middle. Any nice? First up in the basic box is a McNett slash gear aid microfiber towel set. Here it is. So this one here is a McNett. Yours might say gear aid on it. One company bought the other. I can't remember which one it is, but this is the exact same product. So you get a McNett or a Gear Aid microfiber towel right here. This thing's really cool. Let me show you what we got. So it's got these straps here. This thing's huge. It's got a nice carrying case for it as well. Check this thing out. It's rather large. You can completely, f I mean, that's, that's the size of a freaking normal like bath towel <laughs> like you have at home. So this thing's really cool, it's microfiber, it's antimicrobial and all that good stuff. Dries really quickly and it absorbs moisture very, very well. So a great thing to have to keep in a bug out bag, keep in a vehicle, take with you to camp. You know, take you know your kids going on camping trips or whatever, they can have their own nice clean towel that you don't have to worry about bacteria and all that crap growing on it. It's very, very nice towel right here that will last a freaking lifetime if you take care of it for sure. So really, really nice. Keep yourself dry, clean, keep your gear clean. If you got a, a wet shirt or something like that, I sweat a lot here in Georgia. <laughs> so <clears throat> what you can do is take a shirt, lay it in here and actually roll the shirt up in it and get it real nice and tight. And it will literally like pull the moisture out of your shirt and out of your clothing. So it's a great way to dry not only your skin, but also clothes and other fabrics and thing as well. It all rolls back up. You can put it inside of this case right here. As you can see here, and it does have netting so that it can continue to dry or what have you. So you don't have to worry about mold and all that kind of crap growing on your towel. So that is your first item, the Gear Aid slash McNett microfiber antimicrobial dry your ass towel. It's nice and soft. It's good for your skin. For you guys that wear makeup or whatever, you know, you can clean your makeup. Oh, I wouldn't know. And this is a large. They actually make an extra large. Oh, freaking thing's probably giant. The second item in the basic box is Gatorize mini LED lights. These things are freaking awesome right here. Check these guys out in the packaging here. They got pretty cool packaging. Gatorize. So these little flashlights here have clips on them, gator clips, and they have an LED flashlight there. You shut the lights off so you can kind of see how bright these little rascals are. Pretty bright. Oh, there goes another light. Daniel's just unplugging stuff. <laughs> Let's keep going. Can't see. He can't see. He needs, he needs a gator eye. Woo! Hold on, I can't see to get more Gator eyes. Okay, back on. Oh, oh, it's got a battery back up on it. <laughs> All right, so the rest of the video is going to be done with this. Gator eyes. There we go. One more switch. Ready? Boom. There we go. <laughs> so here's your Gator eyes. Like I was saying, they are magnetic as well. So they're great for toolboxes, great to keep in your vehicles, things like that. But you get five of these, which is really cool, so you can put them in multiple areas. But they're just great little lights to have. You can stick these to pretty much anything. They're great for your hat, like I said earlier, fishing rod, 
keeping a boat, keeping a tackle box, keeping an emergency system, you name it, you got light with these here gator eyes. So yeah, using these in tents, um, use them as a reading light at night when you're in the bed and your wife wants to go to sleep, but you want to read, you can clip this onto a hat or clip it onto your, <laughs> to your, uh, to your headboard or what have you. Um, also, they work great for tracking, right? So these, um, I had a system that was similar to these for tracking. So when you're tracking a deer or something like that at night and you get the last blood, you can clip this onto a tree limb or something so that you can kind of illuminate your path while you're tracking a deer and you can find your way out, whatever. Just great little light to have and you got five of them here. So that is your second item, the gator eyes. Stick it or clip it, lights. Yeehaw. So the third item in the box is from WorkSharp. It's a mini sharpener plus more. <laughs> so this thing's really cool right here. I love WorkSharp. WorkSharp makes some cool stuff. So we got this little mini sharpener here. To start with, it's a nice small EDC size, you know, something that you can carry, something that you can keep with you that's not gonna take up a lot of space or a lot of room. It has everything you need. It's got the nice coarse diamond edge here on one side for sharpening. And then it's got a real fine ceramic edge right here for finishing off your blade. But what's really cool is on the inside here, you can kind of push this out, it kind of swings out, are three of the most commonly used size Torx bits for knives. So if you want to work on your folding knives, and heck, even some fixed blade knives have some of these. So we've got a T6 bit, a T8, and a T10 bit right here. And then here on this corner is an area for those bits to go. So you just slide that in, it locks in there, and now you have a tool to be able to work on your blades. How freaking cool is that? So it's a sharpener slash multi-tool. And they all fit down inside of that, nice and secure. It's kind of a soft rubberized plastic, and then it snaps into the middle, and you're good to go. So. Just to give you a little demonstration. You can work on your blades by going across your diamond. So they say go 15 times or so on each side. And then these here kind of help you with your angles a little bit. So you can kind of start there and try to keep your hand in that angle. And then flip it over to the ceramic side, do the same thing. And you can really feel the difference once you get over to the ceramic side you really feel a difference there. She's pretty dang sharp, man. Isn't that a beautiful knife, by the way? <laughs> so, as you can see, I don't know if you can pick it up on the camera, but you can kind of see where, um, where I've kind of cleaned up that edge a little bit. So it's definitely not something for like reprofiling an edge or anything like that but it's great to have, like I said, small in your pocket where you can get a real quick, nice, clean edge on your knife. Kind of get ready to do some cutting, some cutting and some slicing. Whatever you got going on, the work sharp is there to help you out. And take your knives apart if need be. Freaking awesome product right there from WorkSharp. Love WorkSharp, make great, great products. So last in the basic box is a treasure, tre treasure, treasure chest. It's just not a big as one, but it's a treasure chest. Yeah, it's, it's a treasure, ch treasure chest of survival tips. <laughs> I cannot say that. Treasure chest. It's a treasure chest. <laughs> it's a treasure chest. It's a chest full of treasure. So what I'm talking about is a tiny, tiny survival guide right here. Check that out. This thing right here is packed. I'm talking about this. That there's enough in here for a book, but somehow this guy figured out how to put it inside this compact pocket size, even put in your wallet size survival guide right here. It's pretty freaking sweet. So this tiny survival guide was put together by David at Ultimate Survival Tips. 
check him out on YouTube. He's got a freaking awesome channel. He knows all kind of stuff, and he's put a lot of it inside this little survival guide right here. So like I said, this is the tiny survival guide, EDC wallet size, also it comes with a Fresnel lens. Y'all know what to do with those. And in case you need a little help reading, you know, you can use it for that too. So check this out. So it's got a really nice, um, I'm not sure what this paper is, it's, it's a thick, very high quality thick paper that's gonna take some abuse and it's water, water resistant. But check this out. It's like a freaking accordion of awesomeness. <laughs> How cool is that? So front and back, slap full. I'm talking about slap full of information. Everything from hunting to food to trapping, foraging, navigation, self-defense, desert and Arctic and tropics, resources, worst case scenarios, Siri and um, hostage, uh, knots. We've got... Uh, an instruction on how to use this guide right here. Maybe, maybe I should have read that. But um, you got talking about water, fire, shelter, first aid, danger zones, first steps, rescue, bugging out, bugging in, freaking everything, man. Let's see. There's somewhere on here. So there's 101 illustrations, 67 life saving skills, 27 gear checklists and 10 killer mistakes. Not you being the killer, but mistakes that could kill you. So 10 killer mistakes in here. You can learn to survive wilderness mishaps, civil unrest, surprise attacks, natural disasters, nuclear, bio biological, chemical attacks, abduction, hostage, terror threats, vehicle survival, hiking accidents, and much more. And it's, it's so freaking cool. So a great read and a great thing to keep on you at all times. And whenever you need it, boom, it's right there inside your wallet. How freaking cool is that? You can survive anything, anything. He's got it figured out. So check him out on YouTube and check out his products at tinysurvivalgear.com. I like it. I like it a lot. It's just so cool how it just, poof, survivor man in a pocket. Isn't that cool? And your lens, can't forget your lens. Put that right there. Awesome information. Be sure to read this stuff. Like I said, I've said this countless times on many videos with books and any kind of literature and stuff like that that we put in these boxes. Knowledge is power. And although you may not ever do some of this stuff, and hopefully you don't, if you read about it and you read about it multiple times, if you take this out, heck, if you're sitting on the John, man, you got, you got a book with you wherever you go when you're sitting on John, you can read about survival stuff. Once you read it a few times, get it, get, you know, it's going to get in your brain and it's going to pack up in there. And if you ever need it, you should have that knowledge. So really cool stuff in there. We all can learn from, from things. We, there's nobody that knows everything except for him because he put it all inside a little tiny survival guide. <laughs> you go, Dave. So now it's time for the advanced box. Again, the advanced box has two items this month, not one. So if your card says one, that's my fault. I'm just playing games with you. There's actually two parts in there two products in there, so and, and they go together very well. So let's get started with the Lord and Field Camp Strike Handmade Fire Starting Kit right here. How about that? First thing you notice, it's in a nice wooden box. One thing about Lord and Field, their presentation is pretty freaking nifty, if you ask me. But you slide that bad boy open, and you got some of that wax paper on the inside. Two wax papers on the inside, and we got cotton on the inside. Good bit of cotton. All right, so we'll talk about the box here in a minute. So in one of the little wax papers, we got that little rascal right there. Check that out. So that is a high carbon steel striker with micarta scales and some high vis lining here, which is kind of cool, and a reflective lanyard. So if you drop it and you got your flashlight or your gator eyes, you can find it, right? Here on the other side, we've got a very nice, thick ferro rod right there with a really nice grippy micarta scale with the high-vis liner and the um, reflective lanyard here. What's really cool about this striker right here is there's tons of 90-degree edges on this rascal. 
You've got a nice 90 degree spine there. You've got this angle here that's sharp 90 degree edges all the way around. So however you want to strike this, if you want to use that angle, if you want to use the back side, if you want to use this bottom side, it doesn't matter. It's going to work great. So first let me get some of this coating off this ferro rod here. This is a nice thick ferro rod. Look how thick that is. This is going to last you quite some time. And that's the thing. A lot of times you get these fire starters, you know, you get a ferro rod kit. You, you either get a really nice striker and a meh ferro rod, or you get a really nice ferro rod and a meh striker. Well, this thing right here, it kind of takes care of things on both planes. This striker right here is nice, and this ferro rod is as well. That coat almost caught my belly button on fire. Look at that. Mercy. Yeah, once you get that, get through that coating, she's hot, baby. She's hot. Look at that. Ooh, look out. That's nice. Let me move on to the next product because it's going to be fun to play with that with this. So, next in line in the advanced box is Pyro Putty. This stuff is freaking sweet, man. Water resistant. It's just exactly like what it says. It's like putty. Check that out. It's real sticky. I mean, I mean it, it's impregnated with a lot of really good flammable materials. So you can literally roll that stuff up into a ball and if it gets wet, it still works. You just pull it apart and you're back to business. And it burns for a long time. So this stuff is really going to help you get a fire started. I don't want to catch any of this stuff on fire either. There we go. Burn, baby, burn. Look at that. Like I said, that stuff is sticky, man. It's sticky, man. But works really good. Matter of fact, see how long that thing burns there. So, really nice hot flame. Burns for quite a while. I don't know how you can, I don't know how well you can see this. I'm gonna try to hold it until it gets too damn hot to hold, which is not gonna be long. But it's, it's just burning kind of on the surface. Yep, too hot now. And that's just a little bit of this stuff. Look how much we got left. There's a lot in here. So that's a really large, you know, portion of uh, pyro putty right there. This isn't a little sample kit. I mean, there's, there's a bunch in there. I love products like this that come in this tin like this because once you're done with it, you can use these to make char cloth as well. If you're a pyro like me, you always want to have really cool ways to start fire. But uh, that is a very effective way to get your fire going there with your pyro putty and your camp strike right there from Lord and Field. Yeehaw. So how about that for a pretty cool combo right there? The pyro putty and of course the camp strike here. I'm going to show you some more stuff and we'll do it on the cotton on this, on this box right here. I'll talk about that box more, but if you have a Lord and Field Frontiersman knife or if you want to buy one and you want to replace the ferro rod that comes with it, this rascal fits just nicely in there and kind of complements it awful well with the micarta there. So it will fit into your Lord and Field Frontiersman sheath quite nicely. Just an FYI. Put that in the mystery spot. See how she does on some cotton. Really well, really quick. So there's your cotton there. But what's also cool is this box right here. So what you can do with this box if you want to, which is probably what I'm gonna do, so you can make you a pretty cool little fire kit to go in this box. It could just be your fire kit inside this wooden box, which will be pretty cool. Um, it's not gonna be a water resistant kit or anything like that, but just a cool way to have you a nice fire kit. But if in a pinch and you need to be able to get a fire going, you can use the wood of this box along with the cotton to get your fire going. And like I said, it's got a nice 90 degree edge here on this striker. So you can just get on here and carve out some wood. 
little shavings there. So what you can also do is take you a knife and you can cut you some little curls out, if you like, of your box. Kind of help you get yourself a little far going. I mean, it's fun to play with far. Whether you're far off or you're near, make you a far, which far box. So let's see if our, uh, our little wood pile in our cotton can get us a little far going. <laughs> I can do this freaking crap all day long. <laughs> kind of a pyro, but a nice one. I'm a nice pyro. I don't, I don't try to start fires where I shouldn't, put it that way. <laughs> so that's your advanced box, your Lord and Field Camp Strike fire starter kit right here, which is really nice. I dig it. I'm st My shirt was on fire. Did you see that? <laughs> and your pyro putty. If you can't get a fire started with that, you need to call somebody that either knows how to start a fire or can reprimand you profusely. So now it's time for the Pro Box. And the Pro Box this month, we have a product from Wagon Tech. It's the Ion Boost Slim. This thing right here is pretty freaking cool right here. <laughs> Tell me. When I first saw this thing, I was like, it can do what? So this is a phone charger, right? Or a battery backup for like your phone or any other type of uh, USB power device. But it can also jumpstart stuff. <laughs> like a freaking little battery thing like this can jumpstart things up to a V6 engine. And it might could even jumpstart something that's a V8 if it's not you know, too dead, I guess. says it'll do up to a V6. I think that's pretty interesting. So it says here, lithium jump starter and power bank. Aricardor de Lito, oh, that's, that wasn't English. It's a 20 watt hour lithium ion polymer battery. It has protection against reverse polarity, short circuits, overload and overcharge. Cranking amps of 200 amps and a 300 amp peak. That's pretty dang slick. Five volt, two amp, output for the USB. It also has a strobe light, SOS, and flashlight with it. Yeehaw. Don't need that. Directions, yeah, we probably don't need that. Probably don't need that. Here we've got a car charger. We've got the battery bank itself right here. It's really nice. It's got kind of a, a flat black finish to it. Looks pretty cool. You've got your own switch here. You push this button, it'll show you your battery level here. Up here on the front, we've got a, uh, that's for the charging cable that it comes with here. So you can plug that into your cigarette lighter or to a wall outlet to charge here. You've got your USB outlet here. There's where your uh, jumper cable is hooked to so that you can jump, start a four wheeler golf cart. You know, if you've got a gas powered golf cart, um, up to a V6 engine, I mean, that's pretty freaking slick. And then in this pouch here are your jumper cables. And of course, let me show you your charging cables. There's your charging cable that it comes with. So it comes with everything you need. Here you've got uh, this smart cable here. So when you hook this up, it'll help you confirm that your polarity is right. So if, it, if it's on that caution light right there, that means your polarity is probably not hooked up right, so you're positive, not on positive, vice versa. Um, and then if it's all good, you'll get this green uh, light right here by this check right here. So you just plug that bad boy in. You can only plug it in one way. One side's got a flat edge, one's round all the way. So you slide that bad boy in and uh, hook that to your batteries and fire it up. How freaking cool is that? So for instances like we're in right now, Hurricane Dorian is kind of knocking on our door right now as we speak. 
we're going to lose power at some point today. I mean, it's, it's going to happen. When we get tropical storms and hurricanes around here, we lose power. So having a way to charge your phone when you don't have power and being able to communicate, being able to keep up with weather updates and things like that, it's a, a big deal. But, but having something like this for those types of disasters are great. Keep it in your vehicle, especially if you can freaking jump your car with it or jump somebody's car with it. I think that's a pretty freaking cool item. So it's also got the flashlight here that you can use. Press it again and it'll go into a strobe mode. Press it again and it has SOS. So it's a great item to have in your vehicle. If you um, need assistance, you can set this on the back dash or set it on top of your car. Give the SOS signal if need be. Have a flashlight to see what you're doing. Jump your car, jump somebody else's car, or just look freaking cool walking around with this in your pocket. <laughs> so that is your pro item for mission 55. So now it's time for the Pro Plus box, the knife of the month. Like I like to call it, the meat and potatoes. So this month, the knife of the month is probably the most unique knife I think we've ever sent out, ever. Like, freaking ever, all right? So, used to, there was only one place you can get a knife like this. It's from Atro Atropos Knife, Atropos Knife. I'm really horrible at freaking pronouncing this company's name, but they're in Russia, right? So they're the only ones that's made this knife up until now. So Lord and Field and Battlebox has got exclusive rights to this design and distribution in North America. It's the Fortal Fisherman. So the Lord and Field Fortal Fisherman designed by Atropos Knife. <laughs> So these guys make really cool knives. So they have several different designs of the Fortal Fisherman. They got large sizes and small sizes. They also make a lot of really nice um, balisong knives and things like that. Very high quality, very cool. But it seems like on all their products, the focus is to be unique, to be different, right? To be something that makes you go, what is that? Let me see more. So we're going to show you what I mean with this here knife right here. When you take this out of your little wax paper right there, you're gonna be like, what is that? <laughs> Check it out. It doesn't look like a knife at all, really. It looks kind of like a cigar holder or, or a baton or something, like you're gonna go on a track and field and you meet or whatever and, and, and run a relay race or something. A toilet paper holder? Or a toilet paper holder. <laughs> it, it does look like a toilet paper holder. <laughs> yeah, so we've got a, uh, a micarta scale. Um, we've got aluminum tape paper towel holder or toilet paper holder here. <laughs> what we have here is a center cam, right? You pull this, turn this center cam and un unlocks. And you are left with about a four inch stainless steel blade and a fork here. So what this can be used for is obviously for eating, you can use this as a fork or if you're filleting or cutting fish or anything like that or cutting meat, you can use this to stop down and hold what you, you know, so down into the head of the fish and you can fillet with or whatever, right? You're probably saying, well, it's kind of a short blade to be filleting with. Well, you're probably right. We're not done here. On this end here, you also have a cam that if you rotate, it's now in line with the blade. We take the blade, we pull it down, we turn our cam back to lock it in, and now you have a sure enough seven and a half inch fillet knife right here. A great camp set, great camp knife, great, great uh, fishing knife, and, and that's what it's designed for, right? That's why it's called the Fortal Fisherman. So it's got good flex to it. It's got really good flex for a fillet knife. You want that springy, but it returns back to a true straight edge right there so the spine stays nice and straight. And now you have a way you can stick this down into the head of the fish or the tail of the fish, whichever way you're filleting, and you're able to get down and get down and put pressure down on the table and run across the, the skin and fillet that fish real, real nice. But let's say you need to get a little bit more leverage, you know? You wanna break out that inner samurai. So on the bottom here, you see you got two holes where your spikes or your forks can go into. So now you can make this handle even longer by putting that in there, putting it on your cam, locking it in, and now we have the ultimate fillet knife. <laughs> how freaking cool is that, man? That, I, I don't know how, mo 
how else to describe it other than freaking unique. I mean, it's got this nice liner right here. Um, it's got really nice fit and finish. Everything is tight. And now you can do some fruit ninja with this thing. Now you got your little mini samurai knife. No, you're not gonna be batoning wood with this. You're not gonna be, you know, using this necessarily for self-defense. I guess you could if you had to. But um, it's for, for what it's designed for, it's perfect as a, as a fishing knife, fillet knife, cooking knife, um, eating knife, and it's just freaking unique. I mean, there, there's not another knife out there like this. Those guys in Russia are the only other ones that, that, that have this design, and it does a really, really good job of it. So basically, this is your sheath. And just like that, you got yourself a fortal fisherman. Throw this in your tackle box, throw it in your camping bag, keep it in the glove box of your truck, whatever, whenever, in your boat, you name it, you're good to go. Yee so that's Mission 55 of Battle Box, folks. Great, well, well, well rounded, well rounded box this month. <laughs> we got the awesome tiny survival guide right here. A lot of literature in such a small package. You're really going to enjoy that. The McNett slash Gear Aid uh, microfiber towels right here. Huge towel to be able to be so compact, but works really, really great. Awesome absorbency here. We've got the Gatorize uh, lights right here. Freaking amazing little lights. You get five of them. You can use them pretty much anywhere and hook them to almost anything. You got the, uh, the Lord and Field Camp Strike fire starter set right here. Really, really nice um, materials with the micarta and the uh, high carbon steel and this really thick um, ferro rod right here and a box that you can use for tinder along with the cotton. That's really cool. The pyro putty right here. A little bit goes a long ways, guys. This right here ought to last you a long time. It burns hot and it burns for a long time to help you get that fire started. The work sharp, um, uh, tiny sharpener right here, a mini sharpener with the, uh, the three um, Torx bits. Great kit right here to have EDC so that you can keep a quick edge on your blades. And also if you have to work on your knives, you got the three most common Torx bits right there to help you do that. The Ion Boost Slim from uh, Wagon Tech, probably the coolest battery charger I've ever seen. Charge your phone a couple times over one charge or jump start a vehicle with up to a V6 engine. That is freaking awesome. And of course, the Fordle Fisherman knife here from Lord and Field. The most unique knife I think that we've ever had here at Battle Box. You got a four inch blade or a seven and a half inch fillet blade. And you've got the forks here to help you use as a fork or you can stop down that head while you fillet the skin off of that fish when you're at fish camp. Awesome, awesome box this month. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, I appreciate you guys watching. Please be sure to like and comment down below. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell icon so that you can get notified when there's a new video up. And I'll see you guys next. What the heck? Great. Freaking Dorian's here. <laughs> I guess I got to get... Uh, Get ready for the hurricane now. So, um, as always, again, I appreciate you guys watching. Check us out at www.battlebox.com, and I'll see y'all next month right here at Battlebox with Mission 56. I got to get out of here, man. Time to get the... Oh, Daniel's done got the flashlight out. It's time to get to work. Got to get the generators running. It's a treasure chest. It's a chest full of treasure. <laughs>